from our new mayor and council. Um, if y'all would just bear with me, I'm just going to kind of be the MC for a little bit and then I'm going to turn it over to Rocky Ridings to do the swearing in of the council members and the mayor and uh, the other appointed officials. The mayor did want me to remind everyone that after this service, there will be refreshments, uh, just a meet and greet for everybody. We'd like for you to attend if you can. So at this time, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Brother Ted Burleson is going to do our invocation. So if y'all would stand with me and let's do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Heavenly Father, we now come to the evening that the will of the voters is carried out in Hamilton, Alabama, as a result of that August 23rd election and the runoff election of October the 4th. We first thank you for the service of the former mayor and council members. Next, we ask your preservation and protection on the governing authorities in this new administration. Thank you for Bobby Page and his wife Kathy. Thank you for the long years he's already served our community as a trusted banker and a loyal friend. Thank you for his parents for the nurture and the admonition and instruction in your ways. Thank you for his mother who's here tonight who cares so much for him and for the tender concerns that Bobby and his sister Shirley give their mother. We ask your blessings on, his, on him as he fulfills a lifelong dream tonight. As fellow citizens of this community, let us conduct ourselves in such a way that he will not regret his service. Thank you for each council member. We're grateful for both the council members and their families. Each has been selected on this council by the voters of our city who have entrusted the future of our city into their hands. Help our leaders to make wise decisions that are balanced by wisdom and prudence. Encourage them through difficulty. Sustain them in hardship. Help them to be gracious in times of prosperity and triumph. Thank you for the support staff, city hall personnel who carry out the policies and procedures determined by this municipal body. Lord, we ask that the council meetings be conducted with dignity and respect. Help us to know that the responsibilities on the shoulders of these elected officials are divinely approved and authorized. Aid us in being subject to our governing authorities. Assist each leader to know that we ultimately answer to a far greater and higher being. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Probate Judge Rocky Ridings and let him do the swearing in ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. It is my privilege to be here tonight and have the honor to do this. And uh, thank you for asking me. And uh, I also want to echo uh, what Brother Ted said and the fact that we do appreciate the past council and all the service they did and the mayor. And thank you for your service. Sure do. So, Mr. Bob, you want to step forward? And, and Mr. Ted? <coughs> Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm that I am eligible for the office of mayor. That I am eligible for the office of mayor. And will execute the duties of same. And will execute the duties of same according to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And that I will support the constitutions. And that I will support the constitutions. 
and will obey the laws of the United States. And will obey the laws of the United States. And the state of Alabama. And the state of Alabama. That I will in all respects. That I will in all respects. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions. Of the ordinances of the city of Hamilton. Of the ordinances of the city of Hamilton. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. Of the office of mayor. Of the office of mayor. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. You are small. Thank you. Okay, we're going to have uh, all you council up here at one time. So just step forward. <laughs> Do any of you have anyone you want to hold the Bible for you? I'll hold it because I definitely need it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to do certain orders that matter. Okay. Y'all all just gather around, get a little closer. Everybody's going to need to get their hands on a Bible. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing. And what we'll do there is I'm going to say I. And then y'all can say I. And then I'll let you start and you'll say your name and you'll go down the road doing your name. Okay? After that, then you'll just simultaneously all repeat what I say, okay? And I will take this slide, okay? All right. I. I. I, I, I Kenneth Cochran. Herbert Winsett. Bobby Irby. Amy Lewis Williams. Gene Sanderson. Okay. Solemnly swear or affirm. Solemnly swear or affirm. That I, will, I am eligible for the office of council member. I am eligible, eligible for the office of council, 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 council member. member. And will execute the duties of same. And will execute the duties of same. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. And that I will support the Constitution. And that I will support, support the, Constitution. the Constitution. And will obey all the laws. And will obey all the laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And the state of Alabama. And the state of Alabama. That I will in all respects. That I will in all respects. Observe the provisions. Observe the provisions of the ordinances of the city of Hamilton. Of the ordinances of the city of Hamilton, and will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of council member. Of the duties of the office of council member. Okay. Congratulations! You are all sworn. <laughs>
no place I've ever lived except Hamilton. My love is for the citizens of Hamilton. And you're going to see a working administration, and we are for the good of Hamilton. We don't, we're not sold out to any special interest groups. We're serving every citizen that lives here and behaves. If they don't live here and behave, we're going to expect them to change their ways because we want folks that coexist together in peace and harmony. We've got to love one another <coughs> somewhat. We don't have to love everybody's ways, but we've got to love them from our hearts. So I'm everybody's mayor. I want that understood first of all. I ran as the people's candidate. I'm going to serve as the people's mayor. And you can count on that starting today. I'm already working behind the scenes up until today. But I will be in that office for you, and I expect you to call on me for your real needs. Don't bring me something I can't handle. Bring me something that's real. I want to listen to real issues that we can do something about. And I don't want to listen to a lot of trivial things that you can solve for yourself. That's the way the government should be. If you can do it for yourself, do it. If you can't, let us help you do it. So we've got to have some understanding. I want a unified Hamilton. We haven't had that in years. I could preach a little bit about that tonight, but I'm going to leave that to Brother Ted. He does that all, all along, and he knows the rules. We just need to abide by the rules and be unified in Hamilton, Alabama. We've got a small agenda tonight. We might have a bigger one tonight, uh, tomorrow night. If you'll come back tomorrow night at 6, we're going to get down to the meat of the city government and start serving you as we should. Tonight, we've got some appointments that have to be made uh, to carry on our city government. This is part of our effort to get started. As Angela so vividly uh, pointed out, we've got to make these appointments to have everybody in place. And I told the workers, <coughs> I said, I did not come into this office to disrupt city government. So far as I know, there's not been one person that's been replaced that was serving in city government when I was elected. This board is going to be working with these departments. We're going to make sure everybody's giving you your services. <coughs> We're going to be out there every day looking at what we need to be looking at. And we're going to see that everybody is carrying out their duties and their jobs. And we're going to serve you to the best of our abilities. We're going to have good leadership. All of our departments are, are manned and ready. And we've got some pretty good equipment for the guys to work with. If we've been behind on our services, we're going to get caught up with those services. So you can count on a working government. These folks right here that run for these offices love Hamilton, Alabama. And I've talked to them, as I said, and they're ready to go. Every one of them ready to go. You, you guys got anything you want to say before we get started? Tammy? I'm proud to be here. Thank you. <laughs> Gene? I appreciate it, too. I'm proud to be here and try to serve you, serve you to the best of my ability. And I'm proud to be here. And I'll do the same to the best of my ability. <coughs> I want to thank everybody for their confidence in me. I never really thought I would be in city government, but I'm here. I guess that's where God wants me at this time. But I'm here to tell you, if this nation don't turn back to God, we're in trouble. Because God's not going to keep looking down on the nation that's doing what they do. We kick God out of school, we're killing babies. We're letting uh, men go into women's bathrooms. Something's wrong with this nation. But it all starts with your local government. I've always said people don't start getting involved in government. Chaos, chaos is what you're going to have. If the churches of this town, of this county, don't start uniting together, and start and stop bickering over stuff that don't even matter. No church agrees on everything. But the, the churches are there to help people instead of bickering about the denomination. I get so sick of talking here about that. All churches agree on one thing, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. You've got something in common. Start from there and start working together. Then you can have us as we have you. <coughs> 
you know, in 2 Chronicles 7, 14, God said, my people who are called by my name. He's not talking about the people that's not called by his name. Everybody knows that. Will humble themselves, pray, and seek his face. He will hear, hear from heaven. He will forgive our sins and heal our land. <coughs> But if you're not willing to humble yourself before an almighty God, because there is a God in heaven, and I'm glad I'm not God, and I'm glad I got ain't get that job, but he's put me in, in this one right here for right now. And I thank you for it. Sure, my buddy. <coughs> glad to be here and serve the people to the best of my ability. Oh, how much? Okay, you've heard from your government here tonight. Thank you for your comments, folks. We appreciate you, each one of you having something to say tonight. Now it's time to get on to our appointments. Uh, the, uh, the first uh, resolution is resolution 2016-11-7-1, and that's for the appointment of Mayor Pro Tem, and I've selected as Mayor Pro Tem Tammy Lewis Williams. I'll need a motion and a second to uh, Jane made the motion. I'll second. We got two seconds. <laughs> we'll use kind of, we'll save you, Bobby. <laughs> All right, we got a motion and a second. All in favor of Tammy Lewis Williams serve as Mayor Pro Tem. Say aye. 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 Okay. Any, any opposed? Our second resolution tonight is to reappoint Angela Owen as our city clerk by resolution 2016-11-07-2. And I'd like to make that as a recommendation. Do we have a motion? I'll make a motion. Can I make some motion? I'll second. Gene second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <coughs> resolution number three is the appointment of uh, our city, our city's police chief, Ronnie Vickery serves in that position tonight. Ronnie will be continuing to serve in that position as our police chief. You accept that position, Ronnie? Yes, sir, I accept that position. Okay, Ronnie will be our uh, police chief going forward on the uh, reappointment of the fire chief. Jim Ryan now serves as our fire chief, I recommend that we uh, approve Tim Rye as our fire chief going forward. Do you accept that position, Tim? Yes, sir, I do. Okay, thank you. Okay, our next uh, resolution is resolution 2016-11-7-3. That's the appointment of our city judge, municipal judge, and that will be Mr. Dwight Howell, who now serves as our city judge, do you accept that appointment, Dwight? Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. All right. We need a motion for that. <laughs> motion from Herbert. Can I second? All in favor of Dwight Howell serving as municipal judge. Let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh, Any opposed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Judge um. <laughs> It's time for you again. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we're going to need the uh, police chief, the uh, fire chief, and uh, clerk. <coughs> Here first. Angela Owen. Aye. Uh, Tim Ryan. 
solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Alabama. Of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Alabama. And so long as I continue a citizen thereof. And so long as I continue a citizen thereof. And that I will faithfully and honestly discharge the duties of the office upon which on the office of which I am about to enter. To the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, so help me God. So help me God. Ted Yard Warren, congratulations. Support the Constitution that I will support the Constitution of the United States of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Alabama and the Constitution of the State of Alabama. So long as I continue a citizen thereof, so long as I continue a citizen thereof, and that I will faithfully and that I will faithfully and honestly discharge and honestly discharge the duties of the office, the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. Upon the office upon which I am about to enter, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, so help me God, so help me God. And you are from congratulations. Okay. Rocky, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank all of y'all. Second. All in favor of the city employees continuing to say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. <coughs> uh, we'll need a resolution 2016 
11-7-5 that would appoint the mayor to the Northwest Alabama Gas District Board. We have a motion for that. I'll make it motion. Second. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, let's see. Uh, we've got to make a resolution 2016-11-7-6 that would reappoint Allen Cantrell as the accountant for the city of Hamilton. Have a motion to do that. I'll make that motion. Herbert made the motion. Second. Second by Bobby. All in favor of Allen County for being our uh, county. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I will continue as our county. Uh, resolution 2016-11-7-7 would be to reappoint Scott Hunt as our city attorney and city prosecutor for the city of Hamilton. We have a motion for Scott Hunt to continue in that position. I'll make that motion. Have you made the motion? Second. Anyone? Second. Have made the motion? Uh, second. All in favor of continuing to employ Scott Hunt as our city attorney and city prosecutor. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Do you accept that position, Scott? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. okay. Um, tomorrow night, we will get into an agenda that has more of uh, the city fair, city business into it. Tonight, we want to celebrate this inauguration by inviting you to continue with us for a beat and drink refreshments uh, courtesy of Kathy Page. She prepared all the food tonight. All I did was buy a few cups and drinks, and the places are going to host you guys tonight. Won't promise you this every meeting, I'll, I'll tell you, we just can't do that. This won't cost the taxpayers anything tonight. Stay and have a good time. I want to thank my family for coming. My mother's here. She's 97. Made a big effort to get here tonight. My sister, uh, some of my grandsons, my son Todd, Stacy, and uh, of course Kathy and uh, Valerie. And, I don't know who I was here for my family. If I overlooked any of you, I didn't mean to. And it's great to see you guys. This this is what we need. A room full of folks that are here to support city government. I love government. Government is, at its best is of the people. So let's let's be about our business. It's, it's all of our business to have a good city. And by just doing a few little things on your own. We can have a great city here in Hamilton. I've always loved Hamilton, as I said. I won't prolong that. If there's no other business, we need a recommendation to adjourn this meeting and re-adjourn tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Do I have a motion to adjourn? We've got motion and second right here. These guys are going to see about the refreshments. But uh, we will stand adjourned at this time. Do you want a picture? Yes, but I'd like this picture for you. Ed is here with his camera and he's going to make a picture. And thanks for the media coming out tonight. We appreciate all you guys. Hope to see you tomorrow night. <laughs>